Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of Memory Lane. And this one I'm going to dedicate to old YouTube. And when I mean old YouTube, I mean from when YouTube started to around 2013 or so, around that time, before Google Plus and all that BS happened. Um, Google Plus, of course, is no longer integrated with YouTube anymore. They stopped that a couple years ago and Google Plus doesn't even exist anymore actually. They shut it down April of this year. But um, before all that stuff happened, there was a certain culture that was really around YouTube. A couple different kinds of big cultures around YouTube at the time and there was all sorts of different things in with this whether it be soundtracks or games people would play which Call of Duty was pretty much you know, the big game at the time, there were all these big Call of Duty commentators and just so many channels like that around that were entertaining. Some more than others, some were kind of meh, but uh, I did enjoy lots of the Call of Duty commentators back then and thought they were really entertaining with the stories that they told or really whatever they decided to commentate on. And this is a time also where YouTube was more free as of what you could say really. You could say like almost anything you wanted and your video would be up, you know, unless it violated the community guidelines of course. It wouldn't get demonetized or anything all because you said the F word one too many times. It would still be up and up for people to watch you would be able to put out more content and not have to worry about getting demonetized or anything like that or any of that bullshit time when you didn't have to worry about any of that garbage so it was definitely better as of that aspect as well and back then also everyone used windows movie maker back then for many reasons um for one it, of course it was free it was fast it was really easy to use and everyone used it and you could always tell because of the kind of text that people use in these text videos and people just you know talked about something through these text things they either use Windows Movie Maker or the thing on YouTube where you can do text videos like I'm not sure what it's called but you always can recognize it's from that or Windows Movie Maker and you don't really see these videos anymore but back then they showed up all the time I found a ton of them for sure and usually they would have music in the background from the um, artist known as 009 sound system due to the fact that you know when you chose a sound ba or a, a song back then this was always the first artist to show up and people always put in the song dreamscape or was the other one Trinity or a couple of the other ones I definitely have heard them quite a few times there's actually you know one of their songs in the intro there in the first video that was shown that's actually a song by them hopefully I don't get copyrighted for that but you never know uh, probably not though since I don't think they're really that strict about that stuff but uh, you never know with YouTube's copyright system but anyways people would always put that as their background as their background soundtrack in their videos back then as well another thing I'd like to point out is that YouTube as well got rid of the favorite option you can still favorite videos but like it's not like it used to be at all you used to be able to favorite videos and there used to be the five star rating as well there used to be video responses all sorts of stuff like that that YouTube has since then removed and I kind of miss those as well especially the video responses where you could see somebody is responding to you directly when you would press the show more button on one of your videos somebody has responded to it directly and you'd be able to find it easily but you can't do that anymore nowadays you have to just look it up in the YouTube search engine but back then you could see video responses right below your video which I thought was really cool but they removed that for whatever reason, but that feature was definitely really cool from back then. Even the design for YouTube was totally different back then, because they used to have these channel layouts where you could design the thing and it show up across the whole page, not just the banner. They changed that around like 2013, 2014 to appeal to mobile devices, I guess. But I think those banners back then were really cool. And I definitely miss those for sure. And I wish they'd bring them back actually because those layouts were definitely, I think, the best layouts that YouTube has really brought. Around like 2012, I think they're better than ever. And it's just sad that you can't do that anymore because I could have customized my channel so much more well if I would have had like this big channel layout like they used to have but unfortunately that's not a thing anymore 
And I think the commenting system as well was better back then because nowadays the commenting system is so bugged that some comments don't show up at all. They get marked in into spam when they aren't spam and so much other bull that it's just annoying as hell. And uh, there's comments even on my channel. I can't even see them sometimes because they get deleted somehow after like a couple seconds with no explanation. It's just so bugged anymore. And uh, back then, comments were the best like before Google Plus came around because Google Plus screwed everything over. They got rid of it, sure, but nowadays there's still bugs with comments showing up for sure. And it's just been a buggy mess for a while now. And I wish they'd just bring back the older comments that were good. You know, there were uh, comments that said, this comments received too many negative votes, you know, that kind of thing. I wish they'd bring that back. The old commenting system was the best commenting system, and I'm sure a lot of people can agree with me on that one. Also, I'd like to add from back then, the older viral video videos are so much funnier. You had Tourette Sky, you had Boogie2988 with the Francis Rages video, it's just so much other good viral videos from back then, which I think are better than the ones nowadays, honestly. Some of the ones nowadays are good, but back then they were funnier than ever, and I miss them with a burning passion. I still watch them from time to time, and unfortunately if these videos were uploaded today, some of them wouldn't even get like half the views that they would have, you know? Because YouTube's system is just so BS anymore that they would demonetize the video like that. It would automatically not qualify for monetization due to the fact that YouTube's guidelines anymore as of what gets monetized are like a million times stricter than they were back then. So those videos would not have made it anywhere if they were uploaded today, sadly. So I'd like to wrap this up by saying I still do like some things about modern YouTube, though there are some things I do dislike as well. I think the getting rid of Google Plus thing was definitely an improvement. I still think this is a site where you can find good content, good videos, all sorts of stuff you can find on here. But the demonetization thing, the whole changing of the channel layouts, which is still, you know, we're not never gonna go back to that obviously Google Plus has been removed which is a good thing but there are still many things I dislike about modern YouTube as you've seen throughout my video history so that was another episode of memory lane I'll be uploading some more of these there are still some things I want to cover as of good memories that I've had throughout my childhood so I'll be uploading those I might be doing some skate videos soon like I said but you know, unfortunately, I've had other stuff to do, so, so I'll see you guys later. Peace out.